There's the uh, Wildcat formation, and Bronson Yoder's got a big opening. He's got a first down and then some across the 40 and out to the 44-yard line. That is a computer concepts first down on that nearly 20-yard run. Uh, Hollis uh, at Sidarius Wilson on second down and goal from the two-yard line. The snap to uh, Wilson, and it hand off to Bronson Yoder, who gets into the end zone. Touchdown, William and Mary. Touchdown, green and gold, as Bronson Yoder gets into the end zone for the 26th time in his great career. Of attack there, uh, Colton Turner, you can see him really staying with his block, opening that hole, and, and just making it easy for the back to get through there. He's, the, he's, a, he's a good quality man for that job. 44-yard effort by Bridger Jones. It's up, and it is sliced right down the middle. It's up and good. He's long with the 41. He's not got a career, new career high of 44. Two receivers to the near side now for the Tribe. Tight end set to the near side as well, and they'll run it this way. That's Malachi Emo with a huge hole. Down the sideline he goes to the 50. Inside to the 45, to the 40, trying to get away. And again, a newer made the stop out of bounds. But what a nifty run by the speedy Malachi Emo. Nick Cleveland, the snap is good, the kick is up, it's long enough, and it is good. Hayden Bonofsky, the senior out of Huntersville, North Carolina, puts the Tribe on top by a touchdown as three points through the goal. Corson will hand the football off to the right side, hitting the backfield and falls forward and gets away inside the 20 yard line, and that's gonna be Isaiah Jones dragging him down from behind, stopping a potential touchdown run. 14 yard line, make it a 24, um, pardon me, from the 19 yard line, make it a 29 yard effort. The kick is up and it is good. Five minutes and four seconds remaining in the first half of play. Bronson Yoder and he will not get the football. Back to pass goes Darius Wilson, fleeing it to the left side, and that's complete to J.T. Mayo. J.T. makes a nice move inside, but apparently he stepped out of bounds. Two receivers to the near side. Darius Wilson, the quarterback, and he will pitch back to the right side, who will pitch it back again. That's the flea flicker, wide open. The tight end on the left side of the, the field. That's Trey McDonald, the 10 at the 5, diving for the end zone. There They say he's out of bounds at the 3. Darius alongside, rather, uh, that's uh, Darius Wilson, pitch back left side, that's wide open. Touchdown, William & Mary, JT Mayo into the end zone, and the time goes on top, 16-6. to six. The Right side of the screen here, good half roll out there, throws it, and you see that little block right there by Guilford, just enough to get JT Mayo in for the score. Well-designed play, caps off uh, an excellent drive. Already got one field goal today, and the kick is up, it's plenty of room, and it is nailed. So with two seconds remaining until halftime, William and Mary has taken a 20 to six lead. Third down and 15 and he's on the chase to the right side. Wilson will uh, flow it downfield. Got a man and reaching back. Did he make the catch? Yes, he did. Here's a 30 yard field goal attempt by Caden Bonofsky. This is an important one, guys. Put the Tribe up by three scores. The kick is up plenty long and it is nailed. Boy, you like what you see. Tribe defense shot themselves in the foot last time, gave uh, several chances to the Wofford Terriers, but they came up empty, and the ball's going to be, the quarterback's going to be sacked in the backfield. Yes, he is. And the clock is running. Maybe the final play of the game if they elect to run it. Coriston will elect to run it. He'll hand the football off to J.T. Smith on the right side of the field out to the 33-yard line, and that should do it. William and Mary has won their second game in a row to start the 2023 season as the number four ranked team in the country.